Hey y'all, this is Anthony from Rocket Prince, and thanks for watching this video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through how I'm going to embroider on this black and yellow bomber jacket. And we're gonna embroider on the left chest, on the right chest. Finally, we're gonna add a image on the very back. I'm also gonna collaborate some images that I picked up from some local shops on the internet to get the images that I need for this project. After that, we're gonna take it back to the embroidery machine and go and start stitching. So with that, if you do like this video and you wanna see more content like this, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, so today we're going to collaborate the Louisiana state with the paratrooper and we're going to pinpoint the paratrooper in the state. So first of all, I'm in Chroma Lux and we are going to look for the paratrooper and the Louisiana state. So for right now, let's go ahead and download the Louisiana state. So now what we're going to do is just kind of bring it to the center so we can see what we're doing. and um now we're going to place the paratrooper like somewhere around this point because this is where actually fort polk is all i'm going to do is change this color from blue to yellow well actually because we're going to we're going to be doing this in gold so we'll use vegas gold for right now might as well just make it the way i'm going to the way i'm going to design it so we're going to use this 40 weight thousand emerald black and that's the way it's going to be and then now we can go ahead and paste the paratrooper and i wasn't able to do that so let's go ahead and open up another page And all we're going to do is just copy it. We're going to copy, and then we'll hit back. Uh, close. There we go. And then we're going to paste. Okay. So now what we're going to do is, from here, what I want to do is I'm just going to slightly angle him. And then we're going to bring this back down, minimize him. We'll put them right there, but right there. And that's where I want him to go, okay? And then, of course, we're going to change the color. So I want the paratrooper to be black. And that's how the image is going to look onto the bomber jacket. All right, so now all we need to do is just make the adjustment so um, I'm using a Mighty Hoop 5x5, five five, and I, you, one thing I've learned is you can't exactly do 5x5. Five five. It won't let you. So you got to go underneath. So I found it, as, as of right now, I haven't really been playing around with it that much, but in a safe zone for me is 450 for the height. Okay, so I want to bring this down and get it to 450. So if you look right here is the height. We're going to bring this down, so we're just going to minimize it to about 450. And, um, and that's, there it is. Okay, so the width is going to be 501, and the height is going to be 450, 452. All right, so now we're going to save that, and we're going to upload it to my machine, and we got that going i just wanted to show you how you can collaborate um images with another image it's really simple you don't have to worry about um doing all kinds of crazy stuff unless something gives you a hassle but other than that this one went fairly well so 
Let's see how it's going to look. So we're just going to run it back. We're going to go to view. We're going to do slow redraw. And we will do... We'll just show you here. This is what it's going to do. And it's going to show you how it's going to put the paratrooper. And there you go. Easy peasy. Okay, so I got the test results done. This one came out really nice. And then we're going to do the the state with the paratrooper that one came out real nice and the the front logo i know it's mixed match colors but it looks great okay all i need to do is just change up the colors to get that to where it's going so from here i just need to add fort polk on the bottom right here which is going to be right here okay and this is why you always want to do test test runs because if you could see um i had first digitized it myself and it didn't come out right so i actually looked for the paratrooper online and i bought it for like a dollar something and look at how nice it came out all right so the patch came out great um it's nice and compressed to the to the sweater uh this is the first trial run everything looks good so now i just need to get it all set up and just if you're curious what I used, I used this 805 Wonder Under Iron On Adhesive and it worked out great. I picked that up from Joann's. So now that I got all my test runs complete, let's go ahead and start stitching for real on this jacket. Okay, so the first design came out great. This is the patch and look at how sharp it looks. Let's go ahead and take it off of the Mighty Hoop and go ahead and start cutting around it and let's get this ironed onto that jacket. Okay, I'm just going to remove the Mighty Hoop. Take this off. And we're going to cut around this for right now. We're going to go ahead and cut it around it just to get it close so we don't mess this up. And I'll start trimming the edges here. Like I said, this patch came out really nice. And I didn't have any stops. The first time I had a, quite a few stops, but this time I didn't have anything. And that's because I added extra stabilizer to the back. So I didn't want no hiccups. And that looks nice. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to apply this 805 adhesive paper. So I'm going to cut this. We'll just do this. Okay, so the way this works is this bumpy part, you want to put your flag on top of the bumpy part, okay? Then we're going to iron it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'll just use this for support. So let's go ahead and put this sweater over here and I don't need all this paper so I'm just going to give myself enough paper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this up so it's not folded up like this you see a lot better all right that's a lot better okay then we're going to do that and now i'm going to use my teflon that i use for my heat press 
and I'm going to put that bad boy over here. Just like that. All right. I remember just watching people do it. They said, make sure you get the corners, the edges. Perfect. It looks like it's starting to pick up right there. I could see it bonding from the see-through Teflon here. All right, that should be good enough. And let that cool off for a little bit. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and peel this off. And all that sticky stuff is in the back. Yep, you can see it. There we go. Now, we'll, and we'll just trim the excess. Let me get those scissors. Here we go. We'll just trim all this bad boy. Okay. It's really, really messy. This is my pillow. I'm going to put that on the sleeve here. So what I'm doing is just inserting this pillow to give me some separation between all the underneath of the other the, the jacket from touching the other layers or whatever. Okay. Okay. There it is. There's the flag. We're going to bring it down some. Right there. That's what I'm thinking. It's going to be right there. Okay. All right, guys. Here it is. I can't screw this up. If I do, <laughs> I got to buy another jacket, man. So, yeah. All right. I'm not going to screw it up. Okay, here we go. Now, the reason why I'm doing the patch like this is because... I don't have the eight in one hoop system to do patches on sleeves. I mean, to embroider on sleeves. So I have to do a patch, so I had to get creative. And that's what I'm doing right now. Okay. Bye, George, I did it. Woo! That was the one that I was scared for the most was this one. Okay. It looks good. It looks good. I can touch it up a little bit, but I think the way it's set, it gives it character. 
Okay, good. One down, one down. Three more to go, guys. All right, so we finished the patch. I was nervous, but it looks like we got it done. We put that reverse flag on the right sleeve and we are good to go. But now what we're gonna do is second one is the hardest one that I was also worried about is the the actual mascot. So we're gonna go ahead and do that one now. Okay, so back in the embroidery room, we are gonna just unlock the arm here. Flag's all done, that's taken care of. Now what we're gonna do is we're still gonna use the e-hoop, okay? We're using the e-hoop still. Get that all set up. And then now we're gonna go to our Wimpus cat and we're just gonna make sure that we have everything in line. So let's hit, hit okay. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna use this Hoop Master um, table and it helps us embroider stuff quicker and more precise, right? So we're just gonna remove this. So there's some numbers right here. You can see I'm gonna use number nine, combo number nine. So all I do is within the circle here, I'm gonna find combo number nine, all right? And I'm just saying combo, just being silly. All right, so let's see if I can zoom in so you guys can see you see there's there's one five nine okay so you got these two pegs right here and that will land right in once you once you center it right by the nine okay so you see that just went in there nice and smooth now it's stabled and i got it there i actually do the the wampus cat Okay, so we're gonna go here. We're just gonna, that's gonna be on the left chest. And the Wampus Cat is here. Now what I'm gonna do is just get the stabilizers all set up in here. Okay. There we go. see all right I want this in back of the seam so here's the actual here's where it's actually gonna go right there okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reverse this for right now I just want to see where it's gonna land so somewhere right there, which is perfect. Um, can go a little bit higher. I'm good right there. All right, I think I think I got a winner, guys. I think I have a winner. Okay. All right, looks good. I'm going to bring this bad boy in here. Okay, it's locked in place. I'm excited for this one, man. All right, just make sure I don't want to be embroidering anything else. All I want to do is just embroider that. All right, let's go ahead and um, got the Wimpus Cats. The Wampus Cats. <laughs> The Wampus Cats. All right, let's lock the arm back in and let's go ahead and do the trace. All right. 
right. Let's do the outline now. Perfect. Okay, everybody. This is the moment of truth. We are ready. And like I said, I'm nervous. Um, can't mess this one up. Everything's good to go. All my checks. All my checks are in place. Got my colors. And we are ready to go. All right, here we go.
Wow. <laughs> that looks awesome. All right, so some touch-ups, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and get that fixed. But look at that, check that out. That looks great. All right, off to the next one. It's kind of tight there, but let's see. See how it looks. Okay. It's good. It's good. Good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. And it is good. We're good to go, guys. Pork poke, here we go. All right, guys, so I'm just, I'm fast forwarding on the float. I'm gonna try to touch up that, that bottom L right there. See, it didn't come out so great. Now I just wanna touch up that. And the good thing about this is you can hit this float on um, the machine here. And all I'm doing is just holding it down and I'm gonna get it to right where it's gonna go to the L Then I'm gonna stop it. right there and then I'm just gonna slow it down and we're gonna get once we're finished with the O right there we're gonna redo that L and then we're gonna stop it one more time let's go ahead and hit the Okay, so I got my stabilizer. I'm just gonna cut it just a little bit. Okie dokie. And then what we're gonna do on this one is we're gonna put some adhesive in the back. So, so this stabilizer stays stuck to the garment want that in the center okay so where it says extra large that's where we're gonna put it want it right there I'm gonna use this on temporary spray so I'm just gonna spray a little bit just so it holds just a little so it holds the stabilizer for now because that's where I that's where I want it all right Okay, then we can just lift this back up. Okay, see how I did that? Little secret. <laughs> Little secret. Okay. All right, so now that I did that, all I want to do now is flip this over and we're going to flip it. So this is going to be a challenge, but... We, we, we should still be good. We should be good. I'm going to try to hold it. Uh, hopefully, I'm successful at doing this, but we'll see. If not, we're just going to have to flip it. We're going to have to make the adjustments as they go. Okay. Okay, I'm holding it. Okay. 
It's there, just got to make sure that it's straight. I think I got it straight. All right, now I'm just going to line this up. And got it. All right, let's go and take it to the embroider machine. Okay, so now I'm going to change my hoops, guys. So now I'm going to change this to the F hoop. Okay, because it's a bigger hoop and we are going to remove this one and now we're going to use our last one. Um, where are you at? That one right there. We're going to click that one. All right, we're going to go ahead and load up the jacket. So there was a video that I had pre previously made and I couldn't find out, I didn't understand why this was shaking and it wasn't holding. Well, what I found out was I had the wrong brackets. These brackets weren't the ones for my Rakoma machine. So I had to call the supplier repurchase those brackets and then they sent me the other ones because I think I ordered them wrong um, that's how I ordered it for the wrong machine and that's what ended up happening so all right so now what we're doing is I believe this was a five by five now I want to make sure that it's straight as possible and we are gonna trace this. All right.
that is a wrap. That looks good. Let's take this jacket and let's see how it looks. All right, so we are done. Let's go ahead and take this off now. And that looks good. Put this up from the inside. Yeah. All we're gonna do now is just go ahead and cut this out. So we got one last thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna, since this um, <clears throat> came with this little pack right there, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my logo on there. So I might as well, right, take advantage. All right, guys, so we finally finished, and now we're gonna check this out, and we're gonna see how it came out. So this is the left chest. Here is the right chest. Here's the reverse flag, and then the back. Well, let's go ahead and try this on, see how this came out. All right, guys, what do you guys think? And now for the back. All right, guys, we're gonna do one last touch up and that is it for this jacket. All right, we're gonna add this to this little space since they gave, they gave me some room here to put my logo. I'm just going to press it real quick. If you like this video and you want to see more content such as this please remember to like share subscribe leave a comment i greatly appreciate it thanks again for watching and stay tuned for my next video next week and we'll see you guys back have a blessed day peace